In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and learn how to render lists in JavaScript or in React. So until now, we have rendered some simple components up over here, which were nothing but simple headings, simple one-liner code, which we had. So if you take a look at our code here, this is a one-liner JSX element, which is all fine and good. But what if you want to display a list of items? Let's say you have a list of movies, a list of products, a list of colors or a list of fruits, and you want to render them inside a component just over here. So how exactly would you go ahead and do that? So in order to do that, we need to use a map function, which is a JavaScript specific function. And if you're a JS expert, or even if you have decent knowledge of JavaScript, you might already know what a map function is. But for those of you who are actually new or who are a little bit at a beginner level in JavaScript, let's take a simple example to understand what is a map function and how map function works. So in order to execute the JavaScript code, I have actually opened up JS Fiddle here, which is an online editor where you could type in some JavaScript code and get the result. So just as an example, uh, let's say uh, we actually want to calculate some discount on product prices. So I'll create an array here. So here you could write in JavaScript code. You don't have to do this. You just could actually view this particular part of the lecture for understanding purposes. You don't have to write this code at all. You just need to learn what I'm saying. So here I'll create an array called as prices and I will actually add some random values for prices here. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So now let's say if I want to calculate a discount on these prices, let's say our task is to calculate a 26% discount on each one of the prices which are present in this particular array. So one thing which you could do is that you could go through the entire array using a for loop, then inside the for loop, you could calculate the discount, then save that into some other array, so on and so forth. So that approach is fine. However, in order to follow a more concise approach and in order to write more efficient code we make use of something which is called as a map function and what the map function does is that the map function or the map method allows us to iterate through this entire array and perform manipulations on them so for example if i want to access each one of the elements over here and if i want to perform some operation on each one of those elements the map method or the map function allows us to do exactly that so here in order to use the map function on an array you need to say prices which is the name of the array dot map and what this does is that it actually gives you access to each individual price now how to access each individual price here so inside this map function, you could create a function here, which is going to be an arrow function. And in here, within this parentheses, which you could see, we could get access to each individual price. So you could create a variable here called as price, or you could also name this variable as x or anything which you want. However, as this is giving us access to every single price inside this prices array, I would type in price here. So now, once we have access to price, this access could be used here and you could perform any kind of manipulation here. So let's say for now, you want to go ahead and calculate a 26% discount on every single price here. You could simply do price multiplied by 26 divided by 100. So that actually calculates the discount. And now let's say if you want to save that discount into some variable. So this particular entire function which we have here or this particular entire code which we have here returns a array which is nothing but the newly manipulated array. So we could save this entire thing into a variable called as discount. So I could say discount equals this. And now once we have that, I could finally go ahead and log this particular discount array to the console so as to view the discount on these prices. So I could simply say console.log and log the discount here. So once this thing is done, let's see how that would work. So I will pop up the console here. Right now I think it's not visible. So let me adjust this a little bit. Hopefully you are able to see that. And now in order to run this code, I'll simply click on run. And once that thing runs, as you can see, 
we got this particular array in the console which is for the discount. So it calculated a 26% discount on each one of those values which we had here. So we got 26% of 10 is 2.6, 26% of 20 is 5.2, so on and so forth. So using this map, we were able to get access to each one of those values and we have multiplied that particular value with 0.26. So in a similar fashion, we could make use of this map function to pass a certain list items or pass certain array elements to components as well. And we are going to learn how to do that in the upcoming lecture. So in the upcoming lecture, we will have a list of items and we will learn how to render those particular items inside a component. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.